Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's the Brick Building Kids. Guys, today I'm here with Bobby and his NES. So, this is an older console, obviously, um, and I tried calling the numbers here and it is no longer under warranty. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show one method of resolving the infamous flashing power button. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it here today. So let's get started. All right, so for starters, so we knew this was happening and I've replaced the, these parts on older consoles before. So what Bobby did is Bobby ordered the replacement part off of Amazon, and I'm gonna show you that before we start, before we take the unit apart. Here, bud, just tear, tear from here. Right here. No. Okay. You took the long way around, but we got it. Okay, so here's our new 72-pin connector for the NES. So we're gonna open this up and hold it with care, Bobby. This guy just does not want to come out. It's in there very tightly. Okay, so as you can see, this is the new connector we're going to install on our unit. Alright, so showed you the pin connector. Now we're going to remove all the screws from the bottom of the unit so we can get inside. Yeah, no, that's not what we need to remove. That's not what we need to remove. Okay. So you're gonna notice in here there's screw there's Phillips head screws that we need to put we need to take out of here. So. Okay, so we have all the screws off. They're still inside the shell. So when I flip this over, Bobby and I are going to keep track of all the all the screws. So Bobby, I'm gonna all the screws are gonna kind of come out here, buddy. So let's okay. So it should have six screws. Okay, I'm gonna move these to the side. Okay, and I want to note there are two screws here by the controller. Those do not need to be removed, okay? So now you see the inside of the console. So the part that we need to replace is in this shell. So we're gonna remove this, okay? So as you can see, Bobby, this piece here, we can't replace the part yet. It's inside of here, okay? So this little um, sheet metal part, we're gonna take this out, we're gonna take this off, and it's going to allow us to get to what we need. So I'm going to go through and remove all these. Okay, so actually what I want you to do is I want you to put these screws in here. Okay, we'll use this as our little screw connect collector. These are going to be for the shell. Okay, now these part, these screws should be a little different. should come right off now. Okay, we're gonna set this here. All right. Now, as you can see, Bobby, we are getting much closer. The part that we're going to put on goes right here. Okay, see that in here? Okay, so we need to replace this part, so we're gonna end up taking this piece out so we can put this in.
All right. So we're gonna lift the board up just a little bit and it's gonna help let us pull this out. Okay. All right. All right, so big man, the part we want to remove is this guy right here. All right, so we're gonna lose, use a little bit of force to get this out. Okay, because all it is is there's connector, connector pins underneath. So, okay. Okay, so now we are off. So I'm gonna get, since we're going to be attaching another one, I'm gonna get some some cleaning, we get some rubbing alcohol and we're going to clean this up a little bit just before we put our new one on. So let's attach the new one now. So here. And it's going to take the same amount of pressure that we put in before. And just make sure you can see better in here. The 72 bit connector, the 72 pin connector lines up here. And we're just going to push this in. All right, so now that we've got this in here, we're going to push it all the way, all the way in. All right, great, 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 great. Okay, so we're in. Okay. Now we're going to time lapse through putting all this back together, um, and then we'll meet you guys upstairs with the Nintendo plugged back in, and fingers crossed, everything works well. So, all right, let's reassemble this, Bobby. All right, so we have very poor lighting down here, but Bobby's going to install this back into his little Nintendo cabinet. So why don't you go ahead and install it, man? All right, Bobby, so you've chosen RBI Baseball to start playing. All right, plug your controller in. Any day, Junior. Why don't you turn on your sweet LED lights while we're waiting? Okay, you got four on your switch? Four? No, you got four on? Ah, uh, it's upside down, okay. Alright, I got you. Plug your controller in. Alright, it's not blinking. Plug your controller in. Plug your controller in. Plug the controller in.
All right, so we're getting a white screen. All right, so I mean that's somewhat of an improvement from flashing. So let's take the, let's take the disc out and try again. And because these are these are pretty old discs. All right, so it looks like Bobby and I ran into a little bit of an issue with that white screen. So we had tightened up one of the screws too tight, um, and we just kept getting this white screen even though everything was hooked up right. So we unassembled it, reassembled it back together, didn't screw, didn't tighten them too tight. So go ahead, Bobby, turn it on. Turn, turn the, okay, so we got it turned on. We've got Super Mario 3. So I think we've got an issue with our RBI game that we might have to take back, because uh, it's still not working, but we've got our NES restored and working again. So, do appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you, Bobby, for your help, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know. We'll try to help you out. Have a great day.